giving you an introduction about the exam that we are uh, uh, going to prepare for and what is the difficulty level, how we have to approach uh, for the exam, all these things that will be explained by me. What are the seats that are available right now uh, and uh, how we have to plan our uh, approach for the exam that we will be uh, that I'll be giving you a brief idea about it. Then I'll be calling uh, uh, respected the Subrato sir and he will be giving you an idea uh, about uh, the situation that if we are planning our studies, in what manner we have to plan the studies. Uh, basically, dekha jai to Asam se mera bahut purana nata hai because I have been there for three years. Uh, I was academic head Akash uh, Guwahati uh, and uh, many of my students like uh, they are in GMC uh, at uh, Guwahati. Uh, so uh, it's uh, uh, nice to be with the students who are from Tinsukia that is uh, in Upper Assam and uh, you know it is always uh, old memories that are getting recalled. So let us uh, uh, don't waste time on that particular thing. We will uh, straight away come to the point. Uh, let us understand uh, why the exams are being conducted and uh, what is the basic scenario that we have to follow because until unless you don't know the, your exam, you will not be able to understand how you have to design the approach. So uh, let us talk about the situation. Uh, obviously, I'll be thanking Bridgeville to give us this, uh, that opportunity for, uh, uh, you know, conducting uh, the seminar for the students and uh, we will be taking care of the academic parts and we will be dealing with uh, the basic academics that is very much required that is the you know foundation of your preparation so if we talk about uh, our situation uh, see uh, we have basically agar hum dekhe to hamare paas do different streams hain jo abhi starting mein agar hum baat kare when a student goes for 11th or 12th aur uske liye is jo ye jo streams hain because aapka jo college hai wo inhi streams ke basis pe decide hota hai and remember your identity uh, for the future is uh, decided by your college. Aap kisi bhi person ko sunte ho, kisi bhi person ke baare mein baat karte ho, aur usko sunte ho bahut dhyan se, wo sif tabhi possible ho pata hai when you know his credentials. And credentials are basically nothing but his college. So if you are listening to an IITN, you will have a different approach. You are listening to an AIMS doctor, you will have a very different approach. But you are listening to any any person who has uh, done some sort of, uh, you know, uh, commerce course or something like that from certain uh, uh, low reputation college, that will be a different aspect. So ultimately, your career, that is the first step for your career is decided by your college. So choosing your college and getting a very good college is very important. That is why I'm telling you that if a student is in 11th stream or 12th stream and he is deciding career ko decide kar raha hai, so there are basically two basic uh, goals right now or jo humne dekha hai in this COVID time, it is very, very much important that uh, the doctors have kitna contribution kiya hai for the, our country. So uh, this is one of the uh, you know, most noblest profession for us and uh, obviously right now most sought profession. Uh, also, if we talk about the competition, the competition is relatively tougher. Reason is we don't have much seats in uh, uh, you know, government medical colleges. Uh, there is another situation that we can talk about. Obviously, the, uh, the this world is being built by these uh, engineers who are designing day-to-day uh, day -day new technologies and they are uh, creating new innovations, designing a certain aspects of, uh, you know, comfortable life. So, these are all the things that the engineers are responsible, the scientists are responsible, and that stream is another, uh, you know, your career goal that you can look into. And we will be able to help you out to understand these particular uh, goals and how we have to uh, attempt our preparation, how we have to start our preparation. Iske baare mein hum bahut achche se samaj sakte hai. So let us talk about this situation. Aapko jo ye dono goals ke liye jana hai, you have basically two different exams that is NEET and JEE. Now, if we talk about these two particular exams, you have to understand that you have to start earlier to stay ahead. The uh, earlier you will start, you will stay ahead of the preparation because this is a competitive world. Or jab tak aapki jo preparation hai, usme uh, jo continuity hai wo nahi aayegi. Or start jitna early karoge, you will reach. Uh, you will have more uh, span of time. 
to you know uh, uh, to reach your goal so obviously you have to start earlier and uh, uh, the more you will be working obviously the more you will get so isliye if we talk about these exams especially engineering let us understand this first engineering you have basically uh, 3500 engineering college bahut zyada hai बट uh, उनमें से अगर देखा जाए स्पेसिफिकली रेपुटेड कॉलेजेस की अगर बात की जाए सो वी हैव टू बेसिक कॉलेजेस दैट इज आई एंड एन उसके अलावा देर आर सर्टेन गवर्नमेंट इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेजेस आल्सो बट उनका भी जो लेवल है वो आई और एन के मुकाबले इट इज नॉट दैट मच गुड सो ऑब्वियसली योर एम हैज टू बी टू गो इन टू आई आई एंड एन along with that when you are uh, talking about engineering you also have spas that is school of planning and architecture and we have 200 spas these are government organ uh, government funded uh, institutes and this is specially for a stream called as b arc so there is an exam that is je mains jisme ek second exam hota hai jo b arc ke liye hota hai that is bachelor of architecture degree and uh, you will be getting Uh, into the spas in that case let us have a look at the numbers that we are talking about we have 23 iits and usme se bhi jo uh, abhi recent iits bani hai that is 16 iits established after 2004 we have 25 triple iits triple iits is uh, indian institute of information technologies so these uh, I, uh, triple iits are basically focusing on uh, specific branches that is it computer science and uh, some of the triple iits also have electronics and communication uh, along with that we have nits that are 31 obviously aapke yahan par bhi jo nit hai that is in uh, 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 assam har ek state mein jo nits hain wo us state ke cater karne ke hisab se hai along with that we have certain government colleges central universities and state universities so bahut sare engineering colleges hain obviously we have more number of seats in engineering that is why we are seeing ki engineering ka ke ka jo scope hai wo dheere dheere matlab jo competition level hai wo dheere dheere thoda sa down hota ja raha hai because we have more number of seats over there coming to the next situation agar hum baat kare medical ki here the competition is very tough why the competition is tough let us look at the figure india has total of 542 medical colleges that's it engineering there are 3500 medical colleges uh, uh, sorry engineering colleges but in medical we have only 542 medical college and total seats that is only 118968 as of now to aap samajh sakte ho ki ye competition kitna tough hota ja raha hai along with that agar hum aspirants ki bhi baat kare to there are almost 24 lakhs aspirants who are going to appear for this matlab har 24 एस्पिरेंट uh, की अगर हम बात करें तो उसको एक सीट मिल देर इज वन सीट फॉर एवरी ट्वेंटी फोर एस्पिरेंट तो अगर हम बात करें कॉलेजेस में तो गवर्नमेंट कॉलेजेस आर स्पेशली वेरी लिमिटेड देर आर ओनली थर्टीन एम्स दैट इज वन थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एंड सेवन सीट मतलब अगर हम एक इंडिविजुअल एम्स की बात करें तो उसमें सौ सीट्स भी नहीं है सो दिस इज वन एरिया इफ यू आर गोइंग टू गेट इन टू एम्स इट मीन्स योर ब्रांड वैल्यू इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी वेरी हाई along with that aims we have government colleges that are 272 there are 41000 triple 88 uh, triple 8 mbbs seat 76 government dental dental colleges that is going to give you a bds degree along with that there are private colleges but private colleges ke sath sabse bada problem medical mein ye hai that the fee is very very high and they also charge you a capitation fee that may go up to 50 lakhs to 1 crore so obviously you will not be aiming for that if you are uh, talking about your goals you have to go into a reputed colleges where the fees is also less and uh, your brand value is also more so we will not uh, uh, be talking about all these situations so ab aapko ek brief idea mil gaya hoga ki these are the number of seats we have iske baad ab aapka jo exam aata hai us exam mein kya pucha jata hai and uh, how these exams are different aur unki jo preparation hai wo kaise humko karni hai iske bare mein bhi we will give you a brief idea let us talk about we have three different exams je mains je advance and neet so we have three different exams Sab, uh, sabse pehle baat kare je mains this is a preliminary exam aur hum isko aise bhi bol sakte it is a qualifying exams for getting into iits तो अगर आपको आई में जाना है तो सबसे पहले यू हैव टू क्वालिफाई जेई मेंस, देन ओनली यू कैन सिट इनटू जेई एडवांस जो आपको आई में ले जाएगा 
अलोंग विद दैट जेई मेन्स में जैसे ही आप बैठोगे तो यू विल ऑल्सो हैव एक डोर आपके लिए और ओपन हो जाएगा और वो डोर बेसिकली क्या होगा यू कैन क्लियर एंड गेट इन इन टू द एडमिशन इन एन एंड जो स्टेट गवर्नमेंट कॉलेजेस हैं उनमें आप डायरेक्टली एडमिशन ले सकते हो आफ्टर क्लियरिंग जेई मेन्स सो इसलिए जेई मेन्स की प्रिपरेशन स्टार्टिंग से हमारे लिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाती है द मोमेंट आई क्लियर जेई मेन्स ऑटोमेटिकली मेरा एक सीट कन्फर्म हो गया अब मैं आईआईटी के लिए और आगे प्रिपरेशन कर सकता हूं आई गेट ऑलमोस्ट थ्री टू फोर मंथ्स टू प्रिपेयर फॉर जेई एडवांस नीट की बात करें ऑब्वियसली इट इज अ क्वालिफाइंग एग्जाम फॉर मेडिकल एस्पिरेंट्स एंड रिमेंबर दैट थिंग पहले बहुत सारे एग्जाम्स होते थे लेकिन अब देर इज अ यूनिफाइड बॉडी और एक सिंगल एग्जाम होता है तो अगर आप मेडिकल के बारे में सोच रहे हो ऑब्वियसली दिस एग्जाम इज द ओनली ऑप्शन यू हैव सो यू हैव टू गो हेड विद दैट जेई एडवांस की अगर हम बात करें तो दिस इज फॉर द एडमिशन इन टू आई आई टी बट इसके लिए यू हैव टू क्लियर द जेई मेन्स एग्जाम टॉकिंग अबाउट द नेक्स्ट सिचुएशन अगर हम इन जेई मेन्स के एग्जाम की बात करें बेटा तो जेई मेन्स के एग्जाम में बेसिकली क्या है uh, और किस तरीके का कवरेज होता है द uh, क्वेश्चन अगर हम बात करें दिस इज फॉर दिस ईयर ओनली माइंडेड इट इज नॉट फॉर ऑल डिफरेंट ईयर्स for this year there are total 30 questions per subject that are going to be asked because they have given you the choice seeing the pandemic situation but normally agar hum baat kare to there are 25 questions per subject uh, that are going to be asked in the exam abhi ke liye aapke paas 3 30 questions per subject hai aur jisme se 25 attempt karne hain the type of questions that are 20 sq aur inme se sare ke sare aapko attempt karne hain there is no choice in that बट देर आर टेन इंटीजर टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज अ चॉइस कि आपको उन टेन इंटीजर में से फाइव क्वेश्चन अटेम्प्ट कर रहे हैं तो चॉइस इज एप्लीकेबल ओनली इन इंटीजर टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओनली नेक्स्ट थिंग जो सबसे ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है दैट डिसाइड योर प्रिपरेशन अगर हम बात करें द टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट आर गोइंग टू बी आज इन जे मीन्स दैट इज देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन सिंगल कॉन्सेप्ट ड्यूअल कॉन्सेप्ट एंड मल्टीपल कॉन्सेप्ट तो यहां से आपकी जो प्रिपरेशन है उसका थीम डिसाइड होता है यू कैन सी दैट कि मेजोरिटी ऑफ द पोर्शन इज बीइंग आस्ड एज अ सिंगल कॉन्सेप्ट क्वेश्चंस। मतलब लेट्स से इफ आई एम अ फिजिक्स टीचर आई टेल यू इन दिस मैनर कि आप फिजिक्स में पढ़ रहे हो करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी तो आपको क्वेश्चन पूछा गया करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी का बट इट हैज नॉट इन्वॉल्व एन एल एम ऑल्सो इट हैज नॉट इन्वॉल्व थर्मोडाइनमिक्स ऑल्सो सो सारे कॉन्सेप्ट को मिक्स नहीं किया गया एक सिंगल कॉन्सेप्ट से लेकर के आपको क्वेश्चन बनाया गया बट uh, जैसे जैसे हम जाएंगे देखो दिस पोर्शन इज अ सिंगल टाइप उसके बाद ड्यूअल टाइप एंड देन इट इज अ मल्टी कॉन्सेप्ट आई आई टी का जो एग्जाम है दैट इज जेई एडवांस दैट इज टोटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दिस वहां पर क्या होगा वहां पर सिंगल कॉन्सेप्ट आपको मिलेगा ही नहीं आई आई टी इज ऑल अबाउट यू नो मल्टीपल कॉन्सेप्ट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो एक ही क्वेश्चन में करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी भी मिक्स रहेगा एक ही क्वेश्चन में एन एल एम भी मिक्स होगा उसमें थर्मो भी मिक्स होगा मैकेनिक्स भी मिक्स होगा एवरीथिंग विल बी मिक्स इन वन क्वेश्चन इट विल बी थ्रोन टू यू सो ऑब्वियसली आई आई टी के क्वेश्चन आपको ऐसा नहीं मिलेगा कि कहीं देखे हुए लेकिन जेई मेन्स में योर प्रैक्टिस मैटर्स आप अगर प्रैक्टिस करोगे सिंगल टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन की तो यू विल ऑलवेज गेट बेनिफिटेड फॉर इट लेट अस टॉक अबाउट द सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ एग्जाम दैट इज जेई एडवांस यहां पर आई हैव टोल्ड यू ऑलरेडी देर आर जो क्वेश्चन है देर आर एटीन क्वेश्चन पर सब्जेक्ट बट जेई एडवांस के दो पेपर होते हैं पेपर वन एंड पेपर टू और इसमें हर जगह पर आपको हर टाइप का क्वेश्चन मिलेगा नॉट ओनली सिंगल चॉइस इसमें आपको सिंगल चॉइस भी मिलेगा मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस भी मिलेंगे इंटीजर टाइप क्वेश्चंस भी मिलेंगे मैट्रिक्स मैचिंग भी मिलेगी पैराग्राफ भी मिलेगा सो देर आर मल्टीपल सॉर्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस, बिकॉज जेई एडवांस इज बेसिकली लुकिंग फॉर योर लॉजिकल एबिलिटी वो आपकी लॉजिकल एबिलिटी के बारे में पूछ रहा है वो ये देख रहा है कि आप कितना लॉजिकली क्वेश्चन को डील कर सकते हो सो दिस इज एन एग्जाम विच चेक्स योर स्किल्स योर इंटेलिजेंस योर लॉजिकल एबिलिटी एंड योर मेनिपुलेशन पार्ट वो सारी चीजों को डिस्कस कर रहा है दैट इज वाई जे एग्जाम जे एडवांस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट टफेस्ट एग्जाम एंड यू कैन सी दैट अगर आप बिहेवियर भी देखो तो देर आर ओनली टू टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट इज मल्टी कॉन्सेप्ट एंड डुअल कॉन्सेप्ट सिंगल कॉन्सेप्ट की तो बात ही नहीं होती सो देर देर विल बी आस्किंग यू मल्टी कॉन्सेप्ट क्वेश्चन लेट अस टॉक अबाउट द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम दैट इज द नीट एग्जाम और नीट एग्जाम इज 
मोर अबाउट स्पीड देखो इन सभी एग्जाम्स के लिए आपके पास थ्री आर्स हैं लेकिन जेई मेन्स में पूछा गया ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन पर सब्जेक्ट जे एडवांस में पूछे गए 18 क्वेश्चंस पर सब्जेक्ट नीट में पूछे जा रहे हैं 45 क्वेश्चंस पर सब्जेक्ट दैट इज 180 क्वेश्चंस तो अब आप सोचिए 180 क्वेश्चंस इन 180 मिनट्स दैट मींस यू हैव टू सॉल्व वन क्वेश्चन इन वन मिनट दैट मींस योर स्पीड मैटर्स अ लॉट और ऑब्वियसली एनी एग्जाम कैन नॉट बी डिजाइन इन सच अ वे कि आप आपके लिए बहुत ज्यादा टिपिकल हो सीइंग योर कैपेसिटी अगर लेट्स uh, से मैं ही एक क्वेश्चन को वन मिनट में नहीं कर सकता हूं और मैं पेपर डिजाइन कर रहा हूं तो uh, मैं आपके लिए वो पेपर डिजाइन नहीं कर सकता अगर वो क्वेश्चन एक मिनट में ना किया जा सके सो बी इट वेरी वेरी क्लियर इफ यू आर गोइंग फॉर जेई एडवांस सॉरी नीट इट इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट सिचुएशन की आपको जो भी क्वेश्चन होगा दैट विल बी स्ट्रेट सिंगल टाइप सिंगल कॉन्सेप्ट क्वेश्चन और वहां पर आपको सीधे सीधे अपनी स्पीड पे ध्यान देना है प्रैक्टिस पर ध्यान देना है एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन का जो टाइप है वो भी सेपरेटेड नहीं है पहले एजर्सन रीजनिंग भी पूछा जाता था बट नाउ इट इज नॉट बींग आस्ट सो देर आर एस सी क्यूज एंड स्पीड एंड एक्यूरेसी मैटर्स अ लॉट लेट अस सी द चॉइस ऑफ क्वेश्चन इफ वी टॉक अबाउट देर इज अ सिंगल कॉन्सेप्ट क्वेश्चन एंड अ डुअल कॉन्सेप्ट क्वेश्चन तो मल्टी कॉन्सेप्ट की तो बात ही नहीं होती एंड मेजोरिटी ऑफ पोर्शन इज सिंगल कॉन्सेप्ट क्वेश्चन यहां पर वॉट मैटर्स इज के आप जो अपने स्टेट के हिसाब से है उस हिसाब से क्या रैंक लेकर के आ रहे हो बिकॉज हियर जो भी एडमिशन होते हैं दे आर मोर फोकसिंग ऑन द स्टेट कोटा और स्टेट कोटा में हर जगह पर अलग अलग मार्क्स के हिसाब से आपको शीट्स मिल जाती हैं। सो इट इज वन पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम जहां पर आप अपने एक स्टेट के हिसाब से एक कट ऑफ लेकर के चल सकते हैं एंड यू कैन क्लियर एंड द एग्जाम एंड गेट इनटू द कॉलेजेस। सो ये चीज हमारे लिए नीट के लिए अंडरस्टैंडिंग के लिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट योर एग्जाम्स लेट एस टॉक अबाउट हाउ वी हैव टू स्टार्ट द प्रिपरेशन एंड दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू डू सी जो भी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम है इट रिक्वायर्स फोर बेसिक इंग्रेडिएंट्स दैट आई से और उन इंग्रेडिएंट्स का यूज क्या है अगर हम उसको समझें तो सबसे जो पहला इंग्रेडिएंट है दैट इज बेसिकली प्लानिंग सी योर डिसिप्लिन पार्ट योर प्लानिंग पार्ट इज द फर्स्ट चॉइस जो आपके एग्जाम को डिसाइड करता है आपके प्रिपरेशन को डिसाइड करता है सो योर प्लानिंग हैज टू बी वेरी वेरी प्रॉपर अगर आपकी प्लानिंग में कुछ भी कमी आती है तो वो चीज आपके लिए हमेशा एग्जाम के पाथ से डिरेल करने वाली बात है सो योर प्लानिंग हैज टू बी प्रॉपर एंड डिसिप्लिन डिसिप्लिन इज वन थिंग जो आप चाहे आर्मी की बात करो आर्मी इज सो पावरफुल बिकॉज ऑफ द डिसिप्लिन आप कोई भी काम उनसे करने के लिए बोलो दे कैन डू इट एंड आर्मी पर्सन कैन डू इट बिकॉज ही हैज डिसिप्लिन इन हिज लाइफ तो ये डिसिप्लिन वाला जो पार्ट है वो आपकी प्रिपरेशन में वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट है कंटिन्यूटी इन ऑपरेशन और इसको मैं एक बहुत छोटे से एग्जाम्पल के साथ समझाऊंगा हाउ द कंटिन्यूटी पार्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेट एस से अगर मैं डिसाइड करता हूं कि इसमें तीनों चीजें इंक्लूडेड हैं मेरी प्लानिंग भी इंक्लूडेड है मेरा डिसिप्लिन भी इंक्लूडेड है और मेरी कंटिन्यूटी भी इंक्लूडेड है आई से मैं एक नीट का एक्सपेरेंट हूं मेरे को हंड्रेड uh, क्वेश्चन करने हैं पर डे दैट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन फिजिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन केमिस्ट्री 25 question bio uh, that is botany 25 question zoology how much time i'll be taking on almost let's say 1 1 hour for each to uh, total mila ke 4 hours although botany and zoology takes let, lesser time but main man ke chalta hu that is a 4 hour of study for me agar main 4 hour uh, ki self study mein 100 question per day karta hu how many questions i'll be doing in one year that will be 36500 How many questions you will be doing in two years? That will be seventy-three thousand questions. And after solving seventy-three thousand questions, can you say that you will not be able to clear your exam? No, you can't, because you have practiced all those questions. आप कोई question कर पाते हो वो क्यों कर पाते हो? अगर आपको किसी की assistance की जरूरत नहीं है वो <coughs> वो इसलिए नहीं है sorry वो इसलिए नहीं है क्यों? क्योंकि आपने वैसे question की already practice की है. तो जब आपको किसी भी एग्जाम को प्रिपेयर करना है तो आपकी जो कंटिन्यूटी है वो मैटर करेगी सोचिए इफ यू गिव ऑलमोस्ट फोर आवर्स पर डे फॉर योर सेल्फ असेसमेंट फॉर एनी एग्जाम यू कैन क्लियर दैट पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम बिकॉज यू आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सो मेनी नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चंस। 73,000 क्वेश्चंस का मतलब हो गया यू हैव ऑलरेडी सोल्व ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेंटी बुक्स तो ये चीज एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट इश्यू है एंड 
ऑब्वियसली इसीलिए मैंने आपको बोला कि सेट अप द स्मॉल टारगेट हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन पर डे डोंट लुक एट द सिचुएशन की मैं अगले दस दिन में क्या करने वाला हूं आई बी सेटिंग अप द टारगेट दैट टू वॉट आई हैव टू डू टूडे आज का टारगेट कंप्लीट हुआ आई लुक फॉर द सेकेंड टारगेट सेकेंड टारगेट कंप्लीट हुआ आई लुक फॉर द थर्ड टारगेट सो दैट इज हाउ आई हैव टू प्लान माई स्टडीज एंड हाउ वी विल बी एबल टू हेल्प यू आउट लेट एस टॉक अबाउट दैट ऑल्सो सो वी हैव डिजाइन अवर कोर्स इन यू नो दैट विल बी शोन टू यू इन अटेयर्स फॉर्म दैट मीन्स वी विल टेक स्मॉल स्मॉल स्टेप्स and uh, build up your basic reputation the first thing is your curriculum part so obviously we have uh, you know uh, taught so many students and uh, we have that particular experience and that particular experience will be given to you in form of the uh, planned curriculum second thing the mentorship with the experts and leaders like uh, if you talk about myself i have a 15 years of experience dr subrato vishwas sir dr avan vishwas ma'am and all these uh, uh, team that is filled up with this situation with the experience obviously the explanation part complete point to point situations test planning all these things will be included in this so you will be having complete tests and all also along with that if i talk about the situation there are few more situations that will be there to help you out regular motivational sessions assistance and all these things so uh, this is what we will be able to helping you out yahan par i'll be stopping myself and i'll be giving uh, mic to dr subrato vishwas sir and he will give you an idea ki aap koi exam ko prepare kar rahe ho to kya basic insights hain us exam ke liye and how you have to deal with that uh, so i'll be uh, calling sir uh, sir please a very good afternoon to everybody uh madam i'm very happy uh, hearing the name coming out of your self that yes i'm here uh whatever little i could do i would do but uh i must thank bridgewell for connecting with edu fund day to one of the members or senior i'll just straight away take you through the world of inspiration and whatever we students need to know so listeners straight away let's go uh, to the academic partner that is edu fund day and what edu fund day does what professor himanshu and the whole team members there is huge number of members who are working day and night i am one of them and uh, this team had has the experience and the knowledge and the content and the planning for you so those listeners who intend to plan for their engineering and medical wing they can do so with inspiration let alone the contents any content is available on to the net in form of books pdfs videos gifts games nuggets but let's see what we need to do i always tell this is my uh, session today wherein i intend telling you that learn the way you like you don't have to follow us you don't have to plan but what professor himanshu and professor uh, dr biswas and dr aman biswas professor banu and many others uh, mentors here would say is how things could be but you have the right you have the right and the method to follow so i am going to show you i am going to tell you some of the experiences of mine for the last 60 years what i did 
So uh, I have a question and I'm sure all of you are going to answer. Can you see the chat box and let me know if my listeners are going to answer. Uh, so are you all ready? So you can, uh, very good afternoon indeed. I think it's afternoon already, is it? Yes. Oh yes, uh, good morning or good afternoon, it's still good. Uh, so I have a question, what is this? So simple question is, what is this? You might be thinking, what sort of a question is that? Uh, is he mad? We I recognize this, it is an apple. Very easy question indeed. So this is how the teacher goes on. First, he tells you an easy question, then he puts a tough question. How many meiosis would result in four apples, in producing four apples? That means a teacher in grade 11 or 10 plus one has already taught you what is meiosis, metasis, amitasis, and many, many things, blah, 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 blah. But how many meiosis? I'm going to give you the answers and all of you try to answer it. Is the chat box going to give me the predictions? Okay. So here is, uh, there are two apples, three apples, four apples. So I talked about four apples. The answer should be one meiosis. Four, five, eight, 16. Now this is a tougher one. Apple was easy. One could easily say it is an apple, but how many meiosis? Now, how do we solve this? I don't see the answers, do I? So it's a group you mean? Yes. The uh, coordinated by one person, one meiosis. So someone says one meiosis. Any others, please respond. It will be interesting only then. Because if I feed myself, I'm going to enjoy, my tummy will be full. But what about you? Yes, I can tell when I answer anyone without the knowledge of eight meiosis. So see, even with knowledge, one cannot go. One has to have the intelligence or application of it. We all have intelligence. I'm not demeaning you. We all have intelligence. Only thing is, how a guru tells a shishya, the methods. Okay, let me tell you. Four apples, you need four male gametes and four female gametes. So they fuse and produce an apple. For four, four male gametes, I just need one meiosis because one meiosis leads to four gametes, sperms or pollens. So that's okay with the male. Female, we need four meiosis. The reason is simple, that every meiosis, one female gamete is produced and the rest polar bodies are gone. So you need four. Because every, each meiosis produces one egg. So you need four eggs. So four plus one, and that makes it five. That is a big smile there. What do you think about it? So those of you write one, those of you write eight meiosis are all wrong. I made it very simple. If you see the question, the question was that simple. How many meiosis would lead to four apples? So one starts thinking it is so easy. You come back home and tell, oh, I have done, mom, I have done the best. I have done it and uh, everyone was happy and I, I think I'm going to get it. But no. So there are some simple, simple tricks. Every step of biology can be learned that way, even physics and mathematics and chemistry, which they are doing it. So let's go to the next one. Oh, yes, this is the place. These are the places where I had educated myself in my younger days, in my school days. Yes, I was in Jorhat, probably in SM, where I'm speaking with all the people there. Uh, particularly, I like. Uh, the dance and the music of Hazarika, as I believe it. And uh, it's a tremendous songs. I, my childhood went along with such beautiful songs. Indeed, I have wonderful collections. And uh, incidentally, we have the largest bridge in Assam uh, on his name, I believe. 
I was hearing about that. Thank you, madam. I could see the nod and I'm grateful for assisting me. So uh, I learned a bit of uh, uh, Kannada and I was in Baroda where uh, our prime minister comes from, uh, Gujarat, that is what I meant. And uh, in early childhood, uh, since uh, my father would move around being in Air Force, I had education in Barakpur in Bangalore. That was a central school and it was a very pretty good school. And uh, even in earlier days, I would, uh, when I was a little kid and uh, I had my education in Agra and uh, Chandigarh being the, um, one of the finest cities in India where I had most of my education. Then I moved abroad and had some more education after that. I had my honor school and, uh, and uh, graduated in that in 82 and then had my postgrad. And then I finished my doctoral in shortest span of time, about two and a half years. People take about five to eight years, sometimes even beyond. And then I had two years of postdoctoral. I was not satisfied. I kept writing, I kept teaching. I found my own methods. And thereafter, even after learning so much, teaching so much online, face to face, I thought, let me see how the Canadians would do, or work and how would they teach. So I had the privilege of going to British Columbia, Vancouver, where I stayed for two years, finished that course, which would have taken two years in just four months and became a world certified instructor. That is the batch that I have a certified one. And uh, you can see the little fellow right in the middle and smiling. And one of my friend who was quite heavier wanted to congratulate me. So she gave me a big hug. That day was miserable for me. Uh, I'm sorry if you're listening, but that was a tough one. She was heavy, but gave me a very big hug saying, congratulations, you have done it faster than anyone else. And there were many more couple of uh, students. Uh, the lady here, I was from US who had partnered with me in the session and many a times. So going with a, a little bit of briefing about myself so that the learners know, yes, what I have because by my face, you won't be able to judge me. So I uh, took up the lecturer job, the first one that was uh, about in 88, I believe. And then I resigned and then went on to become the professor. Um, uh, I didn't become a reader in the middle because my experiences counted more. And then it was in biotechnology, then in Dehradun. And uh, further on, uh, as a director of a private limited company owned by me, and uh, that was about more than 20, 25 years. And I was a uh, um, subject matter expert, rather super subject matter expert in many of uh, uh, the international groups. IPROF happens to be the only, only group in India which started tablet education, first one. And I was picked up from uh, Canada because I had moved in there that time. Well, 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 as an instructor, I was selected in North College of North Atlantic where I taught uh, distant learning, that is online teaching, uh, because there you have knee height uh, snow and you cannot travel much. So students usually love to learn from their own places. So as an online instructor, yes, I took this uh, uh, initiative uh, with viziq.com uh, very early in 2007, when there was no COVID or nothing all that time, uh, people were skeptical. They didn't want to get online because they were very good, very happy to teach face to face and scold the children and so, and so forth and control them with their mind. But in online, you cannot control only your knowledge matters, how you teach, how you train, how you talk, that matters. And if you add up with flavors, jokes and stories, that adds up further. So as an academic head of biochapters, again, uh, when I came back from India, I started my online classes at biochapters and thereafter now uh, being the head of a neat section of edge fund day, I'm in front of you. So, uh, oh, I can forget that experience. Uh, that's too much. Uh, and uh, then, uh, that's uh, my wife and myself, co-authors, and we have this book uh, recently, McGraw-Hill 
um, about a couple of uh, years before, five years before, they came to know that I was back home. They caught us and they said, well, you have already written for the last 20 years, one of the hottest, hot selling books, but uh, would you kindly go for a 10 plus one conceptual book where you can increase your concepts very clearly. So we did that pretty good. You can go online and Amazon, Flipkart and many other sites where you can grab one of them and it's a beautiful one. And if you don't want it, I can send you one to your college, to your school, to your education house, madam. Uh, you can just give me a tinkle and I would do that. So McGraw-Hill will send the copies to your library and you can have a look at it. If you like it, buy it. If you don't like it, throw it in the dustbin. So, oh, not in dustbin. We don't throw Saraswati in dustbin. That's bad. So this is a 10 plus two uh, book and th these are for concepts. Uh, so you can increase your concepts very clearly. These are objective books where you have lots of MCQs, 20,000 each, and that's too much. So you can go through these ones. Then another series of MCQs recently brought in by McGraw-Hill. They were not satisfied. They said, we want more from you. Dil mange more. They said that. And so I produced these six volumes. Out of the six, you are able to see two of them. So all the 38 chapters for neat preparations have been combined in form of various questionnaire, multiple choice, reason assertions, one word, two word answers, one sentence answered in all these volumes. And all the pictures that you see on the face of the cover is from Canada where I lived and I took. That was on the rock. I saw a little bell-shaped flowers. And these are the cones that you see, genetics and reproduction go to hands and hands together. And this was one of the insect which I saw on one night, I was not feeling sleepy. So I saw it on my floor. I took my camera, took the shot, and it came out to be a wonderful one. It is a moth, but that came out at night, which they do, of course. And that's the difference between a butterfly and a moth. And this was the fish which I caught in the sea in the, uh, Canada, but then they don't eat it. So my friend, Reg Green, he said, let's drop this fish back into the water. So we did that. So that's my pretty wife's hand. She was carrying certain berries while we were on a Sunday, uh, go round the bush, or we call go round the boot, uh, we say. So I might tell you a story uh, before we talk uh, all things here. And uh, that inspire, many of you are inspired by your father, your mother, your teachers, your friends. And I have a little story. You see, oh, uh, how many minutes do we have? Uh, we have about five minutes. So I'm just going to rush through and to let you know that I had very little knowledge, but I had 1.5 pages of brain. So I was being told that we have only five minutes and we have to hurry up. So am I correct? Uh, if that is true, you can put it on the chat box. So uh, I went uh, to Shimla uh, without any knowledge on an old scooter and gave the examination and you believe you will believe me, and I'm sure it is on record. I stood second in service commission examination of HP, and that I took my would-be wife along with me in the scooter. And that's not the photograph, although, but um, uh, it's a strange that I did. I had no knowledge, but how did I do it? It's all because of the will, all because of the intelligence that you can make use of. And yes, I inspired you that you should be that inquisitive at a Dufan day, yes, like this animal is, you show him something, he's very inquisitive. So the students are also very encouraging and inquisitive. That makes them question. So what's Neil Kuranji? That is a beautiful, if I have to make you inquisitive, and if I ask you a question of this kind, obviously you need to know about it, but once you learn the name, you are most likely to forget. This is a flower which uh, flowers once in 12 years. And now comes my method of teaching where I would just pick up a flower and show you. Yes, it is found in Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. It is an endangered flower. It is a bluish flower. It is a lovely one. And the next uh, bloom would be uh, it was last in 2018, 
And so you add another 12 years, it will be on 2030. So it looks so beautiful. The hills are totally blue. World over, people come there to see this beautiful land there. And Neil Kurenji, which flowers after every 12 years, but they are loaded with so many seeds that the whole land becomes full of seeds and seeds and seeds. And the predators, those who eat them, they become so satisfied that they eat no more. The seeds remain there. And therefore, they bloom after 12 years again. So is that all right? Uh, we can continue for another two, uh, couple of minutes. Yeah. All right. So khate khate thak jate hain. That is called predator satiation. Satiation means I am full. I can't eat anymore. Let the seeds be wherever they are. So uh, I would question you uh, based on your knowledge. Another one. Which animal can detect smell the most? Of course, many of you would answer that. Let me see some wrong answers. Doesn't matter. Dog, I knew you would make that mistake. That's good to make a mistake. Once you make a mistake, you never make a mistake anymore. And that comes a good answer there. And not a fox. It is the shark. It is the shark. So sometimes even simple questions are not known by us. But let's go and use some more intelligence and there can be intelligence based question. Do polar bears eat penguins? Just let me know and I'm going to stop that time. Five to seven minutes, are you sure about it? Okay, so here uh, is the question and here is the answer. I don't have to even speak because they cannot eat each other. The polar bears won't eat penguins, simple reason. They are found at that pole. These are found in this pole. And that's my answer. Without answering, I hope I have answered you. So a teacher must ignite you like my father did. When I got 99 out of 100, he asked me, where the hell is one mark? If boy, you can get 99, why not one mark? So thereafter, I made sure that I get 100 out of 100. And that was the gentleman who inspired me in the early stage and is my mentor, is my hero. The story goes on and on that yes, every time I would come and narrate to my father what I did in the school and he would inspire me. So you must be thirsty for knowledge. As I said, there was a fair, a mela, and it was hot. So there was one man selling water and another man comes and asks for water, uh, 10 rupees a glass, 10 rupees a glass, that man would shout, he asked the other man who was thirsty, he asked, can you give me for five uh, rupees? He says, just go, you are not thirsty. So we all need to be thirsty. A thirsty man never asks for anything less or more. Just he grabs whatever he gets. So that's what the student should be like. Whatever you get from your teacher, go ahead. So another tricky question is the greatest source of variations. Again, I always tell it is miasis, not any other answer. I have little less time, so I'm just hurrying through. And let me tell you that chromosome aberrations are very rare. Polyploidy is very rare. Mutations, they go, occur, and they even get reversed. But meiosis, every time a man and a woman, they unite and produce their gametes uh, to produce a child, they undergo meiosis. And therefore, that is the better answer where you have the chromosome, uh, this one crossing over and in this little gif you are able to see uh, the the chromosomes the purple one grabbing a little of blue and becoming different this is what is referred to as crossing over uh, i think the time is up okay so uh, you have a tremendous potential and I had the tremendous potential. I made this huge one, which I didn't know that I could make use of the driftwood. Again, I would say you should sleep well more than eight hours a day. And that's very important. These food, they make you energetic. They stimulate your brains. Lots to be taken. In fact, all the scientists in universities, we do keep these peanuts in our pockets and grab them and eat them whenever we have time. So ask questions. 
and that makes you confident and make flashcards uh, where, where you can have your contents ready for your revision. This is a very important thing that I must tell you. Well, your physics could be more stronger, if not, uh, your chemistry could be more stronger than physics. Biology could be average, but this, this could be reversed. But if you increase, I'm sorry, if you increase your biology knowledge, you are going to bag that seat, which Professor Himangchu was just telling you. So uh, read the question first, don't answer them. You get to know about the, what things are going to come and then you relax uh, a lot, think a lot, give time to yourself, which is very important. And then solve the MCQs later after you have read the book and that would finish the whole planning. So calculate the mistakes that you have made find out why did you make those mistakes and so on and so forth. And let us see you making one more mistake before I go. Can you tell me uh, what, uh, okay, okay, uh, yes. Uh, this animal belongs to which genus? Is it Aliphas or Laxodenta? Let me see one answer. If I can see one answer, which of these animals do you think it belongs to the genus to which it belongs to. Yes, I'm sure some of you must be answering Loxodonta. That's true. Someone has written it. I'm sorry I couldn't see your name, but I appreciate your answers. It's a huge animal. Indian elephants are smaller in size. You're going to see it. This is an African elephant. Elephants are found only in two places, and that you know very well. I think you know more than anyone else about elephants. Uh, I understand why. Uh, so Loxodonta, they are very huge. And if you see an Indian elephant, it is a stubby one, a naughty one, playful one, uh, much more. And uh, they, they usually have tusks in males and females in Loxodonta, which they do not have in uh, males and females. Uh, usually the males have it. So uh, this is, uh, and the last thing about the, this one, if you fail, ask a friend or serve the net, and if you don't like it, ask the best person in the world, your teacher. He is an instant resource for you. And so sir, you are muted, sir. Hello, sir. You are muted, please. Okay. Uh, suddenly something I know I'm... Yeah, yeah, it's okay now. All right, thank you very much. Uh, this is a, a picture which I like very much. Not that I'm claiming to be something, but when you see my students uh, laughing, I just provoke them, ask them a question or a story, and then you can see hundreds, hundreds of students from two different classes, plus one and plus two, and they would raise their hands. This is a very important school in South India where I'd been for a lecture. So you can see their expressions, even, not even one child not ready to answer. So that is my reward. That is my apple, which I get back. So did you ever see three or four coconut trees growing? Never, never. But in Edufunde, yes, we are big shots. Uh, should I say that uh, we are big shots? We are experienced, no doubt. We are growing together without any ego. Without ego, we can do a lot of good things. This is what I believe, and that's what I say. And I must say thanks to Bridgewell again for connecting you and me. You want some other slides? Okay. All right. So I would end up and uh, say goodbye to all of you. Thank you very much. Once again. Thank you.